Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will be working with one router, R1, two switches, switch 1 and switch 2, and four PCs, PC1, PC2, PC3, and PC4. We will configure these PCs to be in two separate VLANs, and then configure routing between them through the method known as router on a stick. The host names of the router and switches, the IP addresses of the PCs, and their default gateways have been pre-configured. Try to complete the lab yourself first, and then continue watching if you have trouble, or watch it after to check your solution. Step 1 is to ping between the PCs. Pings between PC1 and PC3 should succeed because they are in the same subnet. Likewise, pings between PC2 and PC4 should succeed because they are also in the same subnet. Other pings should fail. Let's ping from PC1 first. Let's ping PC2. Ping 10.0.0.130. The ping fails. Next, let's ping PC3. Ping 10.0.0.3. The ping works, as expected. Finally, let's ping PC4. Ping 10.0.0.131. The ping fails. By the way, I'm using the up arrow to access previous commands and just edit the last few numbers. Next, let's try to ping from PC2. First, PC1. Ping 10.0.0.2. The ping fails. Next, PC3. Ping 10.0.0.3. The ping fails. Finally, PC4. Ping 10.0.0.131. The ping works. That's step one. Step two is to assign PC1 and PC3 to VLAN 13 and PC2 and PC4 to VLAN 24. Let's configure switch one first. Enable conf t interface F01 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 13. That's for PC1. Next for PC2. Interface F02. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 24. Next let's configure switch 2. Enable conf t. Interface F01. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 13. That's PC3. Next, let's configure the interface connected to PC4. Interface F02. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 24. Step 2 is now complete. Step 3 is to create a trunk link between switch 1 and switch 2. Remember, we need to configure a trunk link to allow the connection between switch 1 and switch 2 to carry traffic from multiple VLANs. In this case, the interfaces are assigned to the native VLAN, VLAN 1. However, our PCs are assigned to either VLAN 13 or VLAN 24. Therefore, no traffic from these PCs will be able to pass between the switches even in the same VLAN. I'll just do one ping to prove this, from PC1 to PC3, which are in the same VLAN. Ping 10.0.0.3. As you can see, the ping which succeeded previously now fails. Let's create a trunk now. I'll configure switch 1 first. Interface G02, switch port mode trunk. That's it. 
On this switch model, we don't have to configure the encapsulation type. Next, let's configure switch 2. Interface G01. Switch port, mode, trunk. That's step 3. Step 4 is to configure inter-VLAN routing by creating sub-interfaces on R1. Currently, because we created a trunk between switch 1 and switch 2, PCs in the same VLAN can ping each other again. I'll ping once more from PC1 to PC3 to show this. Ping 10.0.0.3. As you can see, there are once again no problems. However, pings to a different VLAN should not work. Let's just ping from PC1 to PC4 to check. Ping 10.0.0.131. As you can see, the ping fails. Now, one way of configuring inter-VLAN routing, the one we will be using in this lab, is called router on a stick. As you can see, there is only one connection between R1 and switch 1. However, we will configure two sub-interfaces using this single connection, and each sub-interface will have a separate IP address which serves as the default gateway for the PCs in each VLAN. Note that I have already configured the PCs with their default gateways. So, let's configure R1. Enable conf t. First, I will turn on the Gigabit Ethernet 00 interface, which is shut down by default. Interface G00, no shutdown. Next, let's configure the sub-interface for VLAN 13. First, type interface G00 as normal, then dot 13. As you can see, we are in sub-interface configuration mode. I'll set the IP address to 10.0.0.1, so IP address 10.0.0.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.128, which is equivalent to slash 25. But the command doesn't work. We have to configure this sub-interface as part of a VLAN first. That is done with this command. Encapsulation dot 1q 13. Now we can configure the IP address. IP address 10.0.0.1 Okay, now let's create the sub-interface for VLAN 24. Interface g00.24 we will use an IP address of 10.0.0.129 and a subnet mask of 255.255.255.128. But remember, first we have to configure the encapsulation. Encapsulation.1q24. IP address 10.0.0.129 255.255.255.128. The configuration of R1 is now complete. However, there is one more final step. Remember that Switch 1's interfaces are access ports in the native VLAN, VLAN 1 by default. That includes Gigabit Ethernet 01 which is connected to R1, so it can't send traffic from VLAN 13 or VLAN 24 to R1. Let's make it a trunk. Interface G01 switch port mode trunk. Okay, step four is complete. Finally, let's test this small network. All PCs should be able to ping each other, even though they're in separate VLANs. As in the beginning of the lab, I'll ping each other PC from PC1 and from PC2 to check. Let's go to PC1 first. First, I'll ping PC2, ping 10.0.0.130. It works. Next, I'll ping PC3, ping 10.0.0.3. .0 .0 
it works as well. And finally, PC4, ping 10.0.0.131. It works. Okay, next, let's ping from PC2. First, I'll ping PC1, ping 10.0.0.2, and it works. Next, PC3, ping 10.0.0.3, it works as well. And finally, PC4, ping 10.0.0.131. It works too. We have successfully configured inter-VLAN routing. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin donations via the address in the description. I am also a brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token donations in the Brave browser.